Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon Center exclusive Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer Box. Now this set, a special expansion, is brand new. Today, September 22nd, 2023 is the official release date for this special expansion. And this is a set that I've been highly anticipating i've been waiting for this set to release it will be very nostalgic and i can't wait to open up the packs within this elite trainer box so this product i did purchase from the pokemon center's website for 59 dollars 99 i've actually pre-ordered every single product that will be released with scarlet and violet 151 i ordered a lot of it from gamers a couple of things from target but there's actually two sort of phases of release. September 22nd, several products release. And then two weeks from now, October 6th, there are more products that release. So Pokemon 151, the first 151 Pokemon. So like I said, I'll be throwing out some memories with my history related to Pokemon in the first generation throughout this video. Certainly in the comment section of this video, let me know your favorite memories from Pokemon in general and what you think about this set. So 200 and I believe seven total cards within this set, illustration rares, special illustration rares, EX, just like the other Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet series of sets. So I'll take the plastic wrap off of the Elite Trainer Box, show the contents on the inside and then get to opening the booster packs. The difference between this box and a normal Elite Trainer box, a $10 price difference, you do get two more booster packs within this Pokemon that are exclusive and then you do get a stamped Snorlax promo and you can see right here the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box. I have seen some tweets out there of people getting their Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes without that stamp. So that is somewhat of an air product. All right, so here is the box without the plastic wrap on it. Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Flip over the box. There's what's on the inside, and this is very similar to the Japanese counterpart for this set. They did take out Snorlax and made it a Black Star promo. Here are the contents on the inside. If the camera will focus much at all, we'll see if it focuses. But otherwise, we will get to showing all of the contents. And I did buy four sealed Elite Trainer boxes, so they sent a case. And this one, the corner was dinged up. As of right now, I do plan on keeping everything sealed. So this was the box that I wanted to keep sealed. All right, I did not want to keep sealed. I was trying to mess with the camera there, but I didn't want to keep this one sealed because it was in the worst condition but here's a look at some of the cards that's why i like opening elite trainer boxes you can see some of the images for the cards in the set i'll jump over the price guide in a moment but there are some of the more valuable cards of course charizard ex there's a special illustration rare i know they have the pokemon trading card game classic just announced the price in the united states a crazy 400 dollars. that is unreal contents on the inside 11 booster packs like i said to open up and there are something called god packs available in these where you get three great cards in them both reverse hollows as well as the rare card in the pack will be something very good usually an entire line like venus or blastoise or charizard all right so let's take a better look at the contents on the inside i would like to thank everyone for watching this video so 11 booster packs, exactly the same cover artwork design in each and every pack. Of course, with the Scarlet and Violet series of sets, they're trying to mimic, come as close to possible as the Japanese sets and products. Card dividers, I do like these. See if they're both the same on the front and the back. They are very similar. Like I said, it's just the first 151, sort of on a, a pattern. The energy cards. It will be exciting to see about one in three packs, I believe, have the Galaxy Print Holofoil. Two of the Black Star promo cards. I'm going to keep these both in the plastic. One should have a special Pokemon Center stamp. I'm not seeing it right now. Yes, I see it now. So small right down there, but you can see the difference. Take a better look at the Snorlax. Pretty cool. Looks like a Pidgey on top of it. 
card number 51 for the Scarlet and Violet promos. I'll give away the code card. There's the TCG Live code. The damage counter dice and coin flip dice. And then the condition markers. I believe that's all. And I'll jump right into the booster packs. The sleeves look identical to the card dividers. So before I do that, I will head over to TCG Player just to show you the price guide. Today being the official release date, prices will vary a little bit. Prices will more than likely come down. Charizard EX, everyone loves Charizard. Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, but right now that is the most valuable card in the set at worth at about $127. Erica's Invitation is a very competitive card. Pretty cool. It allows you to pull a Pokemon from your opponent's hand, put it onto their bench, and then move it to the active Pokemon spot. That card, very valuable, both the special illustration rare and the full art. Then you just go down in value from there, but this is just going to be an, a blast of nostalgia, a blast of memories for me to open up in this video. So let's get to the booster pack opening now. And I, like I said, I have a lot more openings to do for, I like to call it Pokemon 151, Scarlet and Violet 151, I guess is the technical name. Scarlet and Violet 151, new on the cover artwork design. And card number wise, it goes right through the Pokedex. So you're going one through 151. Every single Pokemon from the first generation has a card in this set, including Kadabra. I think it's been, what, 20 years since Kadabra was last printed. Of course, a lot of legal issues with the name of Kadabra. Goldeen starts the very first pack. Weeping Bell, Ghastly, Paris. Cedra, Kabuto, Gloom, Vioplume, there would be a rare, Energy Sticker, and the final card would be a Gengar. And then of course I'll skip to the basic energy, just the normal basic energy there. Vioplume and Gloom. Gloom I actually traded. I finally was able to get a Charizard. This was back in fifth grade. I think that's 99, 2000 when Pokemon really blew up finally traded a friend of mine to get a Charizard and then I went to school the next day and traded the Charizard away for I think an Alakazam, a Gloom, and several other uncommons. To me back then quantity was better than quality. That's changed of course for me now. Shelter starts the second pack. Helix Fossil, Slowpoke, Magmar, Haunter, Hitmonlee, Wartortle. Cool looking background there. Fero, Ekans, and the final card would be a Starmie. Of course, if you've watched some of my videos before, oh, there we go. There is that Galaxy Holofoil, just like the original Wizards of the Coast Hollow. So that is a pretty cool looking card right there. Like I said, about one in three packs will have that Holofoil. So pretty cool energy card. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, the way I really got into Pokemon was... I started watching the Pokemon anime before I started doing anything else. I'd say the Pokemon anime first, then the Pokemon cards. I think it was my 11th birthday. My, yeah, I believe my 11th birthday that I really got into it. My aunt gave me the Overgrowth theme deck. Don't have to do the card trick or anything. And then after that, I got into the video games, Pokemon Crystal being the first game that I ever played. So it was really for me the anime, then the cards, then the video games and the cards have stuck with me the whole time. Voltorb starts this pack. Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Dugtrio, Clefable, Tentacruel, Oddish, Sea King, and then a Venusaur EX. So of course, one of the original starters in stage two form, Venusaur EX. I know the Alakazam EX in this set is very Strange attack where it can actually attack from the bench. Has that confetti holofoil pattern to the card. There are 12 different Pokemon EX. The two black stars at the bottom left hand corner. Just the basic grass energy. Of course I'll include all of the chapters in the video description. So if you want to jump to the booster pack opening. The summary of polls. Things like that. You can do that in the video there. Next pack here, and, and it is a great feeling just opening up some packs and just being so familiar with all the, of the Pokemon. 
I think every time a new generation is released, I I like it, I'd say, less and less every time a new generation is released. And I get that comment a lot from my viewers where new Pokemon, they seem so strange. Horsey starts this pack. Abra, Diglett, Drowsy, Hypno, Poliwrath, Pidgeot, Mr. Mime, the first reverse hollow, second would be a Slowbro, final card would be a Weezing. Of course, Weezing part of Team Rocket. Just the basic fire energy, so just the lightning galaxy holofoil energy so far. We actually went to Walmart yesterday. We're back in the toy section. They had Pokemon plush back there. We had Mia, my daughter, with. She'll be two in only a few weeks already. Time flies. But we had all three of these starters out there. Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur. She, of course, chose Charmander as her starter. She liked the orange color. Doduo starts this one. Tentacool. Rattata. Squirtle. Hitmonlee. Wartortle. Hypno. Omastar, Kabuto, and the final card would be a Kabutops. I can go through these first 151 Pokemon and tell you this set was the first set to include that specific Pokemon. A lot of fossil set Pokemon right there. From 11 packs, ideally I would get three or four good pulls. So the pulls will have to start heating up to make this an average Elite Trainer box. The Booster Bundle is the product that a lot of people like because it as far as i can tell it's the cheapest price per pack where you just get the booster packs and you don't get additional items with it i think retail is 26 i have it here 26.94 for six packs otherwise you're looking at around five dollars a pack bulbasaur starts this one dratini growlith geodude ammonite tauros Kadabra, there is the Kadabra, a long time in the making. Hitmonchan, Nidoran, and the final card would be a Nidoking. Just opening these cards, it makes me think of the Pokerap from the original Pokemon anime. Next pack here. For those wondering, yes, I did cut my hair again. It's a little bit shorter. It's actually been the shortest I've had in over 20 years. My wife's a big fan of my long hair, but this is growing on her a little bit. Lickitung starts this one. Venonat. Pidgey. Metapod. Polyrath. Pidgeot. Omnite. Farfetch'd. Hitmonlee. And the final card would be a Vile Plume. I guess I haven't been checking for the Holofoil energy cards. There would be a Fighting type and... As soon as I get back into building real life decks, certainly these energy cards would be a part of the deck if I open enough. I'm just checking to make sure I didn't pull any more of the hollow energy cards. Looks like I have only four packs left to go. Not much to write home about yet. Just neat seeing the cards. I actually had a teacher at the school that I work at. She asked me about baseball cards. Her husband was wondering if any of his baseball cards were worth a lot of money and I think they were from the late 80s early 90s that's known as sort of the junk wax era that's what a lot of people think are happening with sports cards and Pokemon cards right now but there's just been so many cards have been printed so much sealed product out there supplies up demands low so even sets like the Scarlet and Violet series of sets they're not worth a lot right now Jigglypuff starts this one Staryu Charmander Spiro, Ivysaur, Slowbro, Machoke, Arcanine, Bill's Transfer. Let's take a look at this trainer card. Look at the top eight cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of Pokemon you find there. And put them into your hand. Not a bad trainer card right there. And the final card would be a Machamp, of course. The first edition Machamp from the Starter's Guide, or what is it? The Starter Pack from the original set there. Two packs left to go after this one. In this video, I do plan on posting as soon as I record it. A lot of times, I like to wait until the weekends to record things. That way, I can record a couple of videos at a time. This one, just recording after a long day of work and babysitting a cousin. So, I'm a little bit exhausted, but a good way to end the evening. Pony Toss starts this one. Poliwag. 
Pikachu. Farfetch would love to pull out an illustration rare. Just beautiful looking cards, 16 different ones available, like that Snorlax that is part of the Elite Trainer box as a promo. Tauros, Kadabra, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, Cubone, and the final card would be an Aerodactyl. All of those original sets were so cool in base set, fossil, jungle. My favorite set of all time, Legendary Collection, mixes all of those original series sets. Hoping to go out with a bang here. Second to last pack, hoping for something good. Would love to get an illustration rare or a special illustration rare. Of course, you have the hyper rares. Just a Mew EX switch or a basic psychic energy. Gold colored cards. Or maybe pulling a god pack, having those three illustration rares or special illustration rares to end the pack. Bell Sprout starts this one. Magikarp. Oddish. Mankey. Dugong, Hitmonchan, Seeking, Abra. There we go, look at that beautiful card. This is a special illustration rare, a Blastoise EX. Makes me think of my friend Justin, Papa Blastoise, his favorite Pokemon is Blastoise. So a very beautiful looking card here. There are seven total special illustration rares outside of Charizard. Very, very happy to have pulled this card. Always been a fan of the water type starters. Very dark and almost evil looking Blastoise. And then the final card. Back to back great pulls in a Golem EX. So easily the best pack. And then you end it with that water energy. The hollow foil water energy. So not bad at all. Now the box has been made. So there's three good pulls. Now let's see what happens in this final pack. So one pack left to go. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are going to open up any of the 151 or have opened some, certainly share my, your polls or what you're hoping to get from the packs. I have pre-ordered, like I said, all of the remaining products for Pokemon 151. The first phase, September 22nd, you have the Elite Trainer Box, both the Retail and then the Pokemon Center Exclusive. You have the Binder Collection, the Booster Bundle, the Poster Collection, and then October 6th, you have the Mini Tins, two EX Boxes in Alakazam and Zapdos, and then you have the very expensive Ultra Premium Collection. I think that's $119.99. Includes a metal, a gold-colored Mew EX. So, final pack here in this Elite Trainer Box. Like I said, a lot more 151 openings to come. Final pack, it starts with Shelter, Helix Fossil, Slowpoke, Magmar, Slowbro, Machoke, Dugong, first reverse hollow would be a Spearow, second would be a Psyduck. So, there we go. There is an illustration rare, one of 16 total. The 16 there, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, Wartortle, Caterpie, Pikachu, Nidoking, Psyduck, Poliwhirl, Machoke, Tangela, Mr. Mime, Omanyte, and Dragonair. So some good Pokemon there available as the illustration rares. And the final card would be a Mewtwo. So Pokemon 150, but a very good first look at Pokemon 151. And then I think I did pull out three of the Holofoil Energy cards. So give me a moment and I will summarize the four good pulls that I had from these packs. From this Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, was able to pull out a couple of Pokemon EX and Golem and Venusaur. One illustration rare in Psyduck, Psy -ay -ay, and easily the best pull. One of my favorite cards from the set, the Blastoise EX, which is a special illustration rare. So there you have it. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to leave a like on this video if you think the video deserves it. And then if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you would like to help support my channel even more, certainly consider becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. So thank you everyone for watching. Like I said, I have a lot more Pokemon 151 openings to come in the very near future. I think my big pre-order from Game Nerds comes on Monday. I ordered the booster bundle from Target, a few of those, and then I'm hoping to find some deals and just do a very large opening of this set. But so far, so good. Very excited for mo more openings. So as always, happy Pokemon card collecting and stay tuned for more videos. 
Thank you.